Hi, I'm Sue Stockdale, your host for the Access to Inspiration podcast, where you can be inspired by people who may be unlike you. We hope that their stories and insights cause you to gain new perspectives on the world and to consider how you can be an inspiration to other people as well. There are now over 100 episodes available across a wide range of topics, along with transcriptions for each one. And you can find them all at our website, accesstoinspiration.org. Whether it's learning about leadership, being creative or coping with adversity, you'll find an episode on this podcast. Our guests come from over 25 countries and from a variety of backgrounds. So dive in and listen to some of our back catalogue. We've even made it easy for you by creating playlists focused on particular subjects. And most episodes are no more than 30 minutes duration. Well, we've taken a break recently and been travelling around the world meeting amazing people for you to listen to and learn from and are delighted to bring you Series 16 over the next few weeks. You'll hear from some brilliant guests, including an award-winning photographer, an astronaut and a world champion powerlifter. I even went out in the rain in the Cotswolds in England to talk to Georgina Bark, who does dry stone walling and discover why she loves her job. I was lucky enough, I applied for a training bursary, having worked lots of office jobs and retail and things that wasn't really fulfilling me. I applied for a training bursary with the Dry Stone Walling Association and was lucky enough to get a position on that. I'm a trained instructor as well now. And quite often they say, oh, we'll do nine till four and this, that, the other. And I say, no, we'll do nine till about half past two because you're all going to be really quite tired. You're trying to do quite a lot with each stone. Like you say, you're using all your senses. You're out in the elements like we are now getting rained on. The background noise, the breeze can actually be really tiring. But when you walk away at the end of the day, you've built something and that's going to be there for a long time. And that's, again, a visual sense of progress and, yeah, sort of satisfaction. And then we'll be having another guest, Bruce Parker, who talks about sliding doors moments. The chance when you have an opportunity and you're not sure which route to take. And there were a couple of auditions that really stood out for me, that really resonated with me. There was one audition put in there by by Disney World, Florida, and they were looking for some actors to join a touring group to tour the United States, touring this wonderful production. That was one of the opportunities. A second opportunity, which was in the same publication, was this quote unquote Chinese agency looking to promote a funk soul band to tour China. So I saw both of the auditions. I went to do both of the auditions and I won both. So Florida's really wanting me. Florida's throwing money at me. They're, they're upping the contracts. And Alice, the Chinese agent, is also telling me, but you know, it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. You're going to go to China, you know, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. So I'm weighing it up and I'm thinking to myself, okay, which one is the adventure? And you can find out which route Bruce Parker took in his upcoming episode. Finally, we kick off next week with Anila Rose, a champion powerlifter, and I discover how she started. I went down to the gym got myself a personal trainer who started helping me with my strength training. And he took me to that part of the gym that most women would totally avoid, where all the big heavy weights are, the barbells are, the men huffing and puffing and looking at their biceps in the mirror. And I'm thinking, why is my trainer asking me now to lift a weight on my back? It was actually a squat he asked me to do. And one of the first squats that I did was about I think 40 kilos and then we quickly went up to 50 kilos after he saw me do my 40 and at the end of the session I squatted 60. Wow. Can you believe it on one of my first sessions? Yeah and he turned around and said to me, Anila, you are freakishly strong girl. So there's lots to look forward to. You can keep connected with us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. Just search for Access to Inspiration podcast. And remember to subscribe or follow this podcast on the platform that you listen to us on so that you never miss out on an episode. We look forward to connecting with you soon.